premiere. Sweet. Two million dead in the first day. Another seven million by the end of the first week. Every defense annihilated. All our forces on the run. Regrouping somewhere. Reports are coming in from other major cities. It's a well-coordinated attack. And so far, it's been damned effective. Don't know what they are, what they want, or where they came from. Only one thing is certain. If Shepard doesn't bring help That's soon... That's awesome. Be on Earth left to save. So it looks, like, it looks like round five is finished. <clears throat> round six has got uh, Demaga versus Roa and Outside versus Fargo. And the winner of those, the, out of those four guys, two people will survive, and those two people will play against each other in round seven. So round seven is almost completed as well. And really, at this point, there's only two games to broadcast, so we might have a bit of a break in the action for the next uh, thirty minutes or so. We might only have one game. Makes sense. All right. This one goes out to Meister. And by the way, Fargo eliminated Grubby in round four, and we're about 80% sure that's the real Grubby, but we need to do a bit more background work before we can say for sure. So that'd be kind of cool if Grubby, we, uh, you know, Grubby, in, in fact, entered Craft Cup Light 34. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Mm. And then is, is Fargo still alive? Yeah, Fargo's playing Empire outside right now in round six. So the guy that eliminated Grubby is still is still in the event. Hey, you want to join in on me? For sure. Thanks. All right, we'll continue that sketch after this. Oh, it hasn't even uh, fully started yet, so we'll just go ahead and finish it up. Yeah, they're just eliminating maps. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, they've finished. They just finished the map elimination thing. I was just about oh. to say, how can you eliminate maps when you're in a game? Yep, good point. I think Serbioa is from the Netherlands. What's going on here, then? Isn't Ice from Denmark? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. So I think we got uh, Torres. You're probably rooting for Ice Cash. As always. My nipples explode with the night. <laughs> My nipples explode with the night. <laughs> Good old Monty Python. If you didn't know, Jim, that's a comedy sketch. You probably haven't heard of it before. Yeah, I have. I don't know much about it, though. 
I know the name. Though. It's supposed to be like bizarre type humor, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, are you guys ready? You should let let them know. All right, and we're getting into it now. So, uh, let's do and it. you can refresh. Thanks. Good job. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got Eyes Cash versus Razor Serv- Servoia? Servioa. Servioa. Um, and this is going to be on Zelnaga Caverns. This is the EU Craft Cup Light number 34. So, uh, you know what? Go ahead and take it away, Jim. Sure, no problem. Part of the reason, we, reason it's tough to broadcast Imaga is he's doing his own first-person stream. So we'd rather have... You know, give people choice. If you go to the Craft Cup main site, you can watch Dumaga all day and all long, you know, or all day and all night. <clears throat> In any event, uh, Servioa, who's st- the start of his name is used to uh, advertise uh, uh, an inferior mouse product that is inferior to the Zowie Gear Mouse, so we won't even mention its name. Uh, in any event, Servioa spawning as Red Terran in the bottom left hand corner of the map. Eyes Cash, <clears throat> spawning as Yellow Zerg in the top right-hand corner. And Servioa is electing to build a supply depot right at the top of his ramp, beginning the start of a wall-off to his main base. And Servioa has yet to elect to do any scouting. He is going to build an, a barracks to add to the wall. Meanwhile... Eyes Cash is going to move a drone out into his main expansion area and find absolutely nothing there. So Eyes Cash could expand if he wants to. That would be uncontested. And is he going to expand? Let's see that. That'll be the first fork in the road of this game. And yes, he will. It looks like Servioa doesn't care whether he expands or not. And Servioa is actually uh, 59th on the EU ladder. Yep, and, he's uh, a very good player. Yeah, for sure. Yep, and Ice Cash is good. This should be a great game. I mean, this is a round seven match, and there's only about seven players left in today's event. And uh, one of these two players will move on to the semifinals. And the other one, unfortunately, will go home. <clears throat> now, we see Ice Cash's expansion hatchery is about halfway completed. Spawning pool is halfway done as well. No extractors yet. For Ice Cash, Ice Cash is going to limit the gas collection of Servioa by planting an extractor on one of his refineries. As that happens, Servioa is now scouting Ice Cash main base and is fully aware of his entire build order because when you're only three and a half minutes into the game, it's not like you can build 27 buildings and build nine hatcheries. So Servioa's got an exact idea of what his Zerg opponent is up to. <clears throat> now let's see how long Ice Cash can limit the and Ice Cash continues to use that refinery. He cancelled it and restarted it. It takes three Marines, I believe, to stop that that rebuilding of the extractor. Yep. Is that true? Yeah, about. And he's gonna do it again. This is the third time he's rebuilt that. We're seeing a reactor go up on the uh, on the um, barracks while Servioa expands with a command center. He's building the command center right in the expansion area. And I think Eyes Cash has a different name. Sierra, I believe it is. In any event, while this is happening, uh, Servioa is building a factory. In addition to the barracks with the refinery and Servioa is pumping out marines the food count for Terran sits at 28, the food count for Zerg is at 28, we notice two spine crawlers for Sierra and let's see two queens and let's check out the unit counting station both players have, well, Zerg has got 25 drones Terran has 23 SCVs on here comes uh, Servoia. Yep. 
and he elected to back off or something. He went forward and is now coming back. Any idea why he might have done that? Um, you know, I'm I'm actually not too sure. No, I don't get it either. I don't know. You know, he is moving that SCV it, around, but it, there's really nothing that could have been seen. Um, could be uh, maybe, maybe, the spine crawl, maybe just, or just the timing. Yeah. yeah, it could be. Maybe he was looking for something. Maybe looking to pick off some odd stray zerglings or something. He didn't find them and decided to run back. Yeah, for sure. It, in any event, we notice the um, factory has got the reactor, and the barracks now has the tech lab upgrade. And now Servioa is going to move forward with Helions. Sierra is moving forward with the four Zerglings. These Zerglings are really for scouting and harassment. There's, they're not going to, you know what I mean? There's no way they're going to do any real damage. Now notice that he gets the speed upgrade just in time. But, oh, no, they're in big trouble. Yeah. And yeah, so those Helions meet on the other side. Yep. Now as this is happening... Uh, Sierra has got a baneling nest halfway completed. A lair just con a hatchery just converted to a lair. Uh, Sierra has also got two queens. So his economy, it's not like he's got four queens, you know what I mean? So the C Sierra economy is in good shape, but not what I would call amazing. Look at this elevator play here. Very nice job by Servoya. Yeah, hasn't been done yet. Let's see what he can do. And let's see how fast. Let's see how fast. Uh, Sierra reacts. He's going to have to get both queens in on this one, and he can't let all of these Helions get into the money line. <clears throat> He's got to get a surround. And the problem is they can be oh, picked oh, up. Three surrounded, but three of them, yeah, picked up. And out of the, you know, it doesn't look like that dropship's going to be able to land anywhere. Going to try the other expansion area, but um, it, it looks yeah, like it's going to be a fruitless battle here. Too many spine crawlers, and that dropship's in big trouble. If these queen, if this queen gets it, that's bad news. Yep, yes, done for. Very nice defense by Ice Cash. Now, while that occurred, Servioa moved up to 38 SCVs, 12 Marines, and let's see what upgrades those Marines have. The Marines do have stim pack. They have no armor or offense upgrade. Both a, a scouting and harassing Viking by Servioa. It really looks like I uh, like Sierra wants to expand, and notice he. Uh, well, he did throw down an expansion hatchery, Jim. Yep. And yeah, so uh, and you know that Viking was trying to pick off that uh, Overlord, but there was transfusion thrown down. And that Overlord was able to stay alive. And look at this—we've got Mutalis coming out as well as level one flyer upgrades. So we're gonna see—we're uh, gonna see some Muta, Baneling, and uh, Speedling combo here. Interesting we to got see on how uh, you know how Ice Cash is gonna be able to pull this off. And at this point, uh, right right now, Servio has got 48 SCVs. Ice uh, Sierra has got 45 drones. So Servioa has done a really nice job staying in this game, expanding appropriately. Is I, I think Sierra, our Zerg player, is going to have to do something pretty special in the next few minutes. Yeah, I agree, especially since that uh, Ice Cash is oh. going with this one expansion here, and he's got you know he's got the high yield on the way as well. And so. now the Marine, and the, the, notice the Marines, they now have the combat shield upgrade. Yeah, and level one, uh, level one attack upgrade for the bio forces of uh, of uh, Servoia is being upgraded as well, and just about finished. And we got three barracks, two factories. Sorry, four barracks, two factories, one starport. So, Sir, so Servioa is going to be just making a massive, massive army in in a few minutes. The food count for uh, Zerg is at 110. The food count for Terrans at 105. <laughs> 